Hey guys, Velocity here, and I'm bringing you this AC4 event that's been taking place this past weekend. I'm actually probably gonna end up uploading this like sometime in the middle of the week after it's already over. But I was very excited to play as the Siren. She looks really, I, I just really like her costume. Um, and so in this event, we get to play on the, the new like Charlestown um, Kingston maps. Yes, I got to grab an angel there and he raged at me immediately afterwards calling bullshit. <laughs> he hates getting grab killed. But what was I saying? Oh yeah, so um, today was the, yeah, and I spent most of this match like failing and using smoke bomb because I have, I never use smoke bomb and I ha like I've never used smoke bomb in AC4 so I just have no freaking clue how to time it or anything. I'm just, you know, I just kind of suck. So watch out for that, me failing with smoke bomb and just dying a lot in general. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so today was the last uh, day of B Woods Deathmatch tournament and it was a lot of fun. I just wanted to, you know, say good games to everyone that played that I got to play with. It was a really good experience. Like you don't, I don't normally find um, competitive lobbies like that ever, where everyone isn't just running around and point starving at least. And um, yeah, because like even even if you find, even if I find like a full prestige lobby, like this is a full prestige lobby, but it's it's not competitive. It's if anything, it's semi competitive, and that's just between me and my one friend that's in this lobby. Um, and, and, oh yeah, and the one guy who, the only reason it's like air quotes competitive is because he just runs this guy, this guy that I'm after right now, playing as my beloved navigator. He just runs around like a prick and just piss me the fuck off and try to like camp with fucking tripwire. It's like, ugh, he's so fucking annoying. But he's not a, I wouldn't consider him a competitive player. Like he's not really a threat. Um. So yeah, this was, if anything, just like a semi-competitive, like 1v1 against Angel. But I'm getting off track again, so I'm try I was trying- what I was trying to say was it was a lot of fun playing in that deathmatch tournament, even though I lost spectacularly uh, today. It was a lot of fun, because I normally don't, like, not that I don't try in open lobbies, I, I, you know, usually have to try a little bit at least, but I was- Try. I, I never had to try hard as much as I had to try hard in this tournament, and it was it was fun. It was fun playing against such good um, players. And going off of that, I I know some people. Someone had like asked about live streaming, so I was like, yeah, sure, I'll I'll, I'll live stream it. Yeah, so I, I live stream, and that brings me nicely into a nice segue into my talking more about my Twitch channel. So you guys, if you have watched my previous video. You'll know, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. I'm trying to get an acro on him, but it's clearly not working. So I just say, fuck it. <laughs> just snap your neck. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? My Twitch channel, right. So I have, there's actually a couple things I want to talk about. I'm not going to commentate the game, but there's actually a couple channel related things I'd like to talk about. One of them being the Twitch channel, which I will try to kind of plan slash schedule it so that I can either make a video or um, just let, like, you know, make a video to let you guys know when I'll be live streaming. And chances are I'll, but chances are I will be live streaming on, like, on, like, a sporadic schedule just because some, you know, sometimes I, a lot of days I just play when I get home from work and I'll just be playing for a few hours. But chances are the majority of live streaming will be on, like, Friday nights. Um, and yeah, and I, uh, the one thing I gotta say is if you guys are interested in live streaming and like me announcing like you know oh I'm online I'm live streaming the best way the best way to contact me in general is Twitter so if you guys don't follow me already on Twitter please follow me like that is and look at this look at this motherfucker camped out with this fucking trip or like I know what you're trying to do I know what you're doing asshole Ugh. so anyway um so yeah I just poisoned our him fuck you <laughs> Anyway, so 
the best way, like if you guys are interested in watching my live streams, the best the best thing to do is follow me on Twitter because that's where I'll be announcing like, hey, I'm, I, I just went online, I'm live streaming this, I'm live streaming that, and um, and of course, like if you actually follow me on Twitch, that will I expect also let you know when I start live streaming. I'm not really 100% sure how Twitch works yet. I'm still getting used to it. It's cool. I like it. But yeah. Um, sorry, I'm getting distracted by Facebook messages. And what else? Oh yeah, okay, and another thing that's, it's not like, like a huge deal, but, um, past few weeks I've been getting more and more, um, what do you call them? Random, like, friend requests? Which are fine, like, um, it's fine, send me friend requests, but I would like to know who you are, because a lot of times, first of all, your PSN IDs don't match your like name on YouTube and I can't always assume that you're someone I know from YouTube, a subscriber or something. So if you are a subscriber and you're friend requesting me, just send a message with that friend request, like saying like, hey, I'm a subscriber, blah, blah, blah. Otherwise, like, I, sometimes it's just like people's, I, I can't tell because a lot of times there's like just spam on PSN where people just randomly fake, like, Facebook. <laughs> People just randomly friend request. And so yeah, long story short, what am I trying to say is that just send me a message with your friend request if you're a subscriber and chances are I will accept it because I just like having more friends. Yeah. <laughs> and that also brings me to um, my thoughts on an open lobby. I know someone asked me about an open lobby in my Q&A. Um, which you can find on my channel. I highly re recommend you watch it. It is in two parts, but I got asked a lot of good questions and it was a lot of good fun making that Q&A. But anyway, yeah, so chances are I won't be able to do- I should have gone for a grab there. Ugh. Anyway, chances are I won't be able to do a Q&A anytime- a Q&A. <laughs> live- live? What am I saying? Um, get your shit together, Velo. Chances are I won't be able to do a, an, an open lobby anytime soon just because I really need to focus on school right now. Like I have, uh, I don't know how familiar you guys are with PhD programs, but I have like my qualifying exams coming up and basically I have to do a lot, shit ton of like reading and just shit like that for it. And I haven't. <laughs> I need to like get on top of my research. Because um, that of course comes first or should come first. <laughs> um, so, but I would love to do one. I will most likely uh, try to do one in the spring. Um, I might try to do one next month. I probably shouldn't, but I might do like a small one um, in, uh, in, in March, at the end of March maybe. Just not for very long, maybe for a couple hours. So, but just keep it. Just keep an eye out. And again, Twitter is the best place for any of these kinds of announcements. Um, I'll, I'll of course do like a formal video announcement type thing if it's like a major event. But um, I guess this video is mainly me <laughs> telling you guys to follow me on Twitter if you want to like. If you're really interested in my channel and you want to keep up to date, whatever. Um, yeah. So that I think that's pretty much all I had to say. Uh, I, I really want an open lobby. I really, really do, which is why I'm talking about it. But oh yeah, one more thing. I've lately been kind of getting disenchanted with AC, especially AC4. Like the other day, I had such, and even today, I had like really bad brain tearing. But the other day, it was so bad to the point where I got like nauseous playing it. Um, so I'm just, I'm probably like. Now, now that this tournament is, tournament is done, unless I get the itch to play some deathmatch or something, I'm most likely not going to play AC4, um, except every now, maybe every now and then just to make videos. But I'll most likely be playing like AC3 or probably ACR and ACB. But that brings me to another question that someone had asked: if I will ever post gameplays for other games and I would love to. I would really like to and I'm thinking actually to start with Arkham Asylum for a number of reasons. First of all, it's one of my favorite games ever and I know it very well so it would 
I could like kind of power through that while I have exams and whatnot. So you guys let me know. Let me know. Please let me know in the comments if you would like to see like a like a let's play of Arkham Asylum because I really want to do it. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I had to say. Hope you guys enjoyed the match and I just love ragdolling when I'm poison darted. It's the best. Um, <laughs> Alright, so I will catch you guys in my next video. Let me know about Arkham Asylum Let's Play and follow me on Twitch and follow me on Twitter if you don't already for the latest updates for my channel. Thanks, bye!